Hi, I'm Kurt Larson and I'm the CTO here at Nimblelink. Today I'm going to be talking to you about our RL78 PMOD Skywire adapter board. This particular board was designed for the Renesis RL78 G14 Renesis development kit. This board allows you to plug the Skywire modem directly into the Renesis development kit. First, I'm going to show you how to plug in the module. So you, when you receive your module and board, oftentimes they will not be pre-connected before they are shipped. So when you insert your XB form factor module into the board, you'll want to ensure that the U.FL antenna connection is towards the 5 volt power input. The second thing you'll do um, is wrap around the RF cable and plug it into the U.FL connector on the module itself. Once you have that done, your Skywire module is, is installed and it can be uh, plugged into the Renesis adapter kit. Um, the, on the module itself, there is a header uh, of switches that you need to set specific to uh, the operation you want to use it in. Uh, this board not only supports the RL78, but it also supports the Renesis Kurumi uh, development board. Once you have the, uh, the dip switches set correctly and the module installed, you can plug it into the RL78 development kit. The adapter board does come with a Y splitter that allows you to plug in uh, two power connections. The modem itself uh, can require up to one amp of current during uh, transmits bursts on the cellular network. So we actually provide a splitter so that you can split your five volt power supply um, to both the Renesis board and as well as the um, RL78 adapter board. On the back side of this board um, is the Kurumi interface. So if you are not using the RL78 development platform, you can um, get a Kurumi adapter board, which is a little embedded module shown here in pink. Um, that allows you to plug into the development kit, or I should say the adapter board. And then on the front side, there's uh, the dip switches will need to be modified so that the Kurumi board can communicate over the UART interface, um, excuse me, the SPI interface to the module. Um, it's important to note that on this module, there is a SPI to UART converter chip that allows the RL78 to use the SPI interface through the PMOD connector. Um, the, the PMOD interface is the Digilent PMOD interface standard. And uh, because of that, the only available communications port is a SPI port. So the adapter board actually has the SPI to UART conversion um, to be able to speak to the Skywire modem. Um, also, on our website, we do have um, software examples that uh, show you how to communicate on the RL78 processor to the Skywire modem, um, as well as the Kurumi um, software examples for communicating with the Kurumi uh, processing board directly to the Skywire modem. If you have any additional questions uh, or you're looking for more information, please see our website for more details on this product.